it's uh, June 10th, 2010, and I'm in a uh, subtropical garden here on Salt Spring Island. Big palms here, male on the right, female on the left. There's still a lot of fruit up there from last year. Yuccas are finished blooming. Petocytes growing in there. There's uh, Agapanthus coming up. The deer keep whacking it. Lots of ice plants in bloom. See some of the fruit up there from last year. Seedlings growing around the base that just sell seed. That's a Clematis armandi there. Blooms in March. February, March. There's some big fats he is growing. Mexican orange there. Like a jungle in here. That's a hedge of bamboo on the outside, pseudo sausage aponica, which is arrow bamboo. There's a big butia capitata growing in there. Really big trunk on that thing, it's hard to see, but it's big. And there's a trachycarpus wagnerianus, a female with fruit on it. Lots of uh, wild Daphne laureola here. You can see the fruit up in there from last year. I didn't bother cutting it off because I got so many bloody seeds. That's a nice big Camerops humulus. And there's the hedge of bamboo that grows along there. That's about 15 feet tall. Goes all the way up the driveway. It's Cortidaria, Celoiana, that's Pampas grass. Actually, the Camerops are blooming here. See the flowers on that one? These do get seeds on them. These are big Camerops. That's uh, probably about 10 feet wide, that one there, easily. And on the outside here, there's another one blooming, another big palm. Water's right there, right on the ocean here. So that's a male, big trachycarpus. And uh, we'll go out into the, uh, well, we'll go out this way here, see what's going on. Fig tree here, big fig tree. You can see lots of figs coming on it. I like to call this place the tropics of Canada. There's a huge camera ops in there too. This garden's neglected because nobody lives here. Really, they're only part time. They live in an out of province. Huge Ganera manicotta. Grass hasn't been cut as long. There's bananas on their own just coming up. And uh, palms everywhere you look. There's uh, Santa Disha growing in there with some hellebores. So those are calla lilies. And uh, giant timber bamboo here. Beautiful timber bamboo. Look at the canes coming on this stuff. Look at the size of those canes. There's my hand. There. There's the canes. These are big, big bamboo canes coming out. That's a huge clump of uh, madaki. And uh, here's a butia capitata palm. Big Butia Capitata, planted about 15 years ago. Lots of palms in here. It's like a wild frickin' jungle. Look at the trunk on that thing. Uh, another male, this is a Wagnerianus blooming here, or a hybrid palm. Uh, another male in here blooming. And here's a um, female, Trachycarpus. Um, that is a hybrid. Another male. There's a female in there blooming. And uh, here's a Fremontia with a gazillion flowers on it. Look at that. There is millions of flowers on this thing. It's just an incredible tree, the California glory. Fremontia. And uh, there's a sable miner in here. I don't know if it's flowering right now. It's actually quite a big sable miner. A beautiful one bronze on it here. Very nice. Totally neglected. Like everything else around here. Some yuccas blooming. Gloriosa superba. Big cordy lines. There was a sable pometo in here but it packed it in in the winter of 2008 unfortunately and I think it may be not sad. It's toast. Yeah. Center spears are gone so that one's done. It was there for years too. Cystus blooming, irises, there's formium tenax in there. Here's the white shell beach. There's native succulents on the rocks here. Sedum spathlifolium, there's our native succulents. Two types of succulents growing in there, and they're flowering. 
There's also lots of cactus around too as well. There's native succulents there, native succulents there. Beautiful garden, huh? Look at the size of that gunnera. That's neglected. There's the fig tree up there. And uh, here's the ocean, complete with white shell beach. Isn't that nice? Up here, there's a huge eucalyptus tree, if you can see it behind this timber bamboo. And uh, let's see what we got here. There's a uh, Livestona palm. Big eucalyptus tree up there. That's a, uh, it's hard to see, but it's a huge Dollarian Pliana. And here is a very neglected, unwatered, geez, it's dry in here, Livestona chinensis palm. It's been there for probably about nine years. Get another shot of the garden. There's the beach. And there's a nice shot of the garden right there. Snapdragons blooming in there. A huge camera ops getting swallowed by Gunnera. And a look at that side of the garden there. The other side of the fence, those 20 foot palm trees. That's a beautiful fig tree. Bumper crop of figs on that one. So there's looking through the, uh, oh, look at the canes. I never saw these timber canes coming up. Look at the size of these here. Just huge. Wow. Look at that. They're shooting up everywhere here. Love that stuff. Wow. Spreads for sure. Some yuccas coming into bloom here. Isn't that nice, eh? There you have it. An unmanicured jungle on Salt Spring Island on the water's edge. This is what a Canadian Zone 9 looks like.